Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Well, it's just coming up half past eleven, and in the evening, as you may have guessed, and yeah, not feeling so great. For some time now, in fact, I can't quite remember how long I have gone without having this problem, and that problem is a severe overactive bladder. Hmm. Sounds horrible, is horrible, and always of the evening, I seem to always have the problems um, a little bit worse. To be honest with you, it's, it's, it's bad all throughout the day, really, and most days. But, um, hmm, horrible. So, what is an overactive bladder? To be honest, it's exactly what it sounds like. So, having a horrible irritability of always needing the bathroom, of when you actually go to the bathroom, you haven't then got that relief. Um, as you're walking around, um, feeling a pressure, feeling a constant urge of needing to go, um, yeah, sounds great, doesn't it? And it is, believe you me, it's nasty. It really is nasty. And I'm feeling a little bit flat, a little bit down. And do you know what? It's, it's, it starts to play my bottom of my back up. Um, and it's really nasty. It really is horrible. Um, hmm. I also have a hernia, uh, a third hernia on my right side so yeah so the pressure of that there as well it makes things pretty uncomfortable quite a lot of the time um yeah you may think why am i doing this as a clip well um my channel is all about the bumpy road good and bad of life and i have to admit as a person having an overactive bladder really does really does change you um I feel as I have no confidence whatsoever. I feel every time walking into a room, it's the first thing I think of. Um, it's there all the time. Does it go? No. And you know, I've had this problem on and off since I've had my very first hernia surgery. Nobody can tell me why um, it all come about. I had my first hernia repair in November 17. That was a feminal hernia surgery. Um, and I had that repaired had some lymph nodes taking away, um, all was okay, and I had that hernia repaired, but I had problems straight after that hernia repair. Um, and a couple of days later, I developed bladder problems. Hmm. Um, needing to go a lot more, not being able to hold myself so well, having to rush to the bathroom really, very really quickly, and um, having to go a lot more often, very uncomfortable, never having the relief there that you've actually been. And when I say that, I literally mean then by visiting the bathroom, going, and actually you've still got just the amount of, the same amount of pressure there needing to go. So it's those muscles which are overactive, which are reacting and sort of spasming when they shouldn't be. Um, and that all, that all started in November 17. Before that, never had a problem in my life. I could literally say I had a, a bladder of still um, I could literally go all day, absolutely all day without going to the bathroom, no more than four, four, maybe five times at the very most. Um, long car journeys, holidays, I've been so fortunate to travel to many of the beautiful places across the world. Bathroom's never been a problem. Um, I had my second hernia repair in July of 18. Lots of problems, and there are other videos, uh, other clips which I have done highlighting that. Um, I've, I've noted them as Hania Hell because that's what it's been, and the whole way I have had, um, and they will be attached on this clip, so please, please have a look at that. Um, but yeah, but you may think, why am I doing this? Because my YouTube channel is literally just that, somebody to talk to. I'm very proud in the sense that I don't like to talk about these problems. And of course, at the end of the day, the people who watch this, I'm not then going to see them in front of my face. But I do find it helps. I had my second hernia repair in July 18. Um, straight away, bladder problems. Overactive bladder. 
And bear in mind, these are, I've seen urologists and I've seen specialists, and they've made no connection with having hernia repairs at all, and it's been a constant battle of appointments after appointments. And misery, I have to admit, misery. Some days I've literally felt like, and I'll be honest, that I've not wanted to go on with things and then of course your real true mind sets in and think don't be absolutely silly don't be ridiculous and you get yourself together but I'm 26 now I mean I had these problems when I was 24 so we are coming up to nearly three years of on and off and the last year and two months of constantly having this bladder problem so for the last three years I've had a, a bladder problem but I've had episodes where it's gone away in the background um, last year two months I would say it's been non-stop sounds rough and it really really was I had an amazing holiday in September I went to the beautiful island of Sikinthos in Greece but my only problem was mornings when I would I would be up and I'm, I'm always up early when I would be up ready to go my bladder would control me so I couldn't physically go into a taxi to venture out somewhere because I had that urge of needing the bathroom going to the bathroom once twice three times still wouldn't go and it was there literally being frightened of what would happen hmm yeah yeah, that sounds um, vulgar, horrible, ashamed. Um, hmm. Yeah, ashamed. I feel really humiliated. Humiliating, actually. Having quite a problem with that. And I link it to having my hernia repairs. And now, actually, December... 2019 so of course we're in 2020 now December 19 I was told I had a third hernia and it's strange because I literally battled six seven eight months of last year with a consultant saying I think I have another one dropping sensation lots of pressure groin related problems horrible sensations flaring back up my bladder which only would really happen if I had a, a, a hernia there and to be told in December that I had a third hernia was just literally a slap in the face but of course you get on with it and you move on with it and I'm really positive and I try to keep on top of things and but, oh my goodness some days there's some things I'm not going to say on here but um yeah how horrible and it's anything else you know I probably could have dealt with anything else and I can you know I've been for job interviews trying to still push forward in my career and I've literally been sat in a waiting room thinking and literally clenching myself thinking I really need the bathroom I really need the bathroom you can't go yet because I'm going to be called for an interview and I have literally been talking to somebody who has been interviewing me thinking I literally need a bathroom now I literally cannot wait any longer fortunately everything has always been fine but wow, the stress and the pressure. Mm. Evenings are always a big thing for me. Always seem to have problems really quite severe of an evening and first thing in the morning. Um, I've spent months changing diet, sort of cutting out carbonated beverages, switching to decaffeinated coffee, cutting out certain foods, which apparently uh, urologists think that agitate the bladder. Um, nothing worked. I've tried four different medications with sometimes horrific side effects, one of which gave me memory problems, which really affected my mind, gave me a very, very cloudy mind um, and would almost make me keep forgetting things. My latest medication to try, which I had to stop very, very quickly after only a week of taking it and didn't really even help my symptoms either, um, gave me severe headaches and kept making me feel like I was going to pass out. Um, so standing up or going in, uh, getting in the bath or the shower or going upstairs um, made me kind of feeling like, whoa, 
my head's really, really going, really off dizzy, and I would almost feel as though I was going to pass out. And apparently that was due to these type of medications can lower your blood pressure. Great. Um, so you can probably imagine, but you may think, why why on my channel? Because I have talked about my hernia journey, my hernia nightmare journey, for my femoral hernia repair back in November 17, my inguinal hernia repair 2018, and now I'm supposedly, um, or I supposedly have a third hernia, which is a, another feminal hernia. But do you know what worries me? I never had any bladder problems until all this mesh was put inside me. So I have a mesh cone for the hernia, uh, the feminal hernia, and I have a mesh plate for the inguinal hernia. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? Never had any bladder problems at all before that. Now I have on a daily basis. Um, it's the first thing I think of in the mornings, absolutely. Um, whenever I go anywhere, I'm thinking, where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? I need to make sure. And you know what the saddest thing is? I'm 26, and instead of enjoying something, do you know what the first thing I do is I have to make sure I know where a bathroom is. I have to make sure I know where facilities are when I'm planning sort of days out, or if I'm going anywhere, or if I'm going into our local town centre. I have to physically point out in my mind you're going to be fine, Bradley, because you know there's a bathroom in such and such a place. You know there's another one in such and such a place. And you know you're going to be fine on the way home because there's a certain amount of time before you can get back to your house where there's a bathroom. And I can do certain amounts of time in a car journey. And actually, I see my nan very often, bless her. Um, I think the world of her, absolutely, absolutely so, so close. But it takes half an hour in the car to get to where my nan is from where I live. And I've worked out that there is um, 15 minutes about no about 10 minutes from my house there is a hotel and there's a facility there and then I know that a little bit further we go through another town with a restaurant there and then the longest part of the journey and then we come to a pub um, which is there and then when we do the final part of the journey I know there is a supermarket with a bathroom and that is the God's honest truth when I have a bad day, that's what I think in my mind. Okay, Bradley, you've got past that first point, you're going to be absolutely fine. And I think to myself, just stay calm, stay calm. And I do all these breathing exercises because it's that bad at times. And when I literally get past those checkpoints, then I know I'm going to be okay. Hmm. That's what it's brought me to. Yeah, at times I could literally cry my eyes out. Hmm. But I do have things which I, I, I work with. So different exercises and things which the urologist has um, suggested. So, for example, working on, can you believe I'm even saying this? Men have pelvic floor muscles, so working on pelvic floor muscles. So holding and then clenching and holding that for several uh, seconds and holding and building up into reps and doing sort of sequences to try and strengthen the muscles. So I do all that. I do that all the time. Um, to try and keep things as strong as possible. Um, what's another thing? So making sure which I, I watch what I eat, what drinks I have. Um, I only ever have decaffeinated coffee because, or try to, um, because of course so it doesn't affect the, um, the bladder lining, which apparently agitates the bladder. Um, what's another thing? I've tried so many uh, uh, natural or uh, natural sort of uh, remedies and things, but a lot of them don't really seem to work. Um, sort of natural uh, natural remedies and medicines and things I've tried from health shops um, and of course I've tried four different medications um, yes difficult really really difficult um, but the thing is I know what I can do and what I can't do and the people around me know my situation to a to a degree but some days they don't know how bad things get and I just put a I put a smile on I just literally put a brave face on um but I think to myself I'm a young man I'm 26 and how could this be happening hmm and then I feel really really low and flat and down and it's difficult really it's difficult but we get through it because I try to think to myself there is always, always somebody worse off, which there is, which there is. 
And you know what? With everything going on at the moment, with all these poor people, bless them around the world with this coronavirus, and things are just getting worse and worse and worse. Of course, I was awaiting... Um, I had some really embarrassing and painful investigations. So I had a urodynamics uh, test um, with the tube putting up into your bladder and um, them testing the f testing basically your bladder and everything about how you when you pass urine. And um, then I had a uh, flexible cystoscopy, um, which is a camera up into the bladder, which I can assure you is most as horrific as it sounds. Um, and I was then meant to be going in to have some uh, sort of bladder surgery done. Um, and I'm awaiting appointments and things to discuss that. But of course, all of this has been cancelled. Even my third hernia repair um, has been cancelled because... And I have an appointment to speak to a hernia specialist. But this has all been cancelled because of the coronavirus, which I can completely understand. And I know mine is not life-threatening and... and surgery which needs to be done straight away but my goodness does it affect quality of life um and yeah but of course i understand the situation and it's such a worrying time for us all at the moment with this coronavirus and i just hope that everybody um stays safe but wow the implications it has affected so much hmm it certainly has um but yes yeah and you know, in a way, I feel a little bit because talking about these things and I do talk with my channel because I do look at my channel as a virtual journal. And one day I really am confident that I'm going to be able to look back on this and think that, wow, I got through that and I'm stronger for it. On the other hand, I also want my life to move forward. Like, for example, different things like sometimes I feel... <laughs> quite alone. It's strange, isn't it, that you've got your family around you, but you feel alone to share these things with. That's when it would be amazing to have to have a girlfriend. I'd absolutely love that, to be able to share all these things with in that, um, and to cherish and look and look after and, and, and be there and share worries and things. But like this, how on earth? How on earth could that happen? How on earth? My confidence is absolutely shattered with this problem. I don't worry about it, but then I'm, I obviously am worrying about it because I'm, I'm voicing it here. But yeah, wow, crazy, crazy. But there we go. We stay positive, and there's so many more awful things going on in the world. That's how I. That's how I stay positive. Hmm. Okay. As you can tell, brave face time. Thank you very much for watching my clip, and that was me kind of getting that off my chest. I'm having a really bad time. It's 20 to 12 now, midnight coming up to, and it's really bad, really uncomfortable. I've kind of grit my teeth. Um, but, hmm. Ah! But yeah. Okay, thank you very much for watching my clip, and until next time, we will see you then. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye now.